Hi, uh, you have been working on the business model. Do you remember the blocks on cost structure and revenue streams? We are going to focus on these two now and discuss the concepts of cost, revenue and pricing. You performed a back of the envelope calculation for your business idea as an assignment. That would have given you some idea about costs and revenues. But by now you have developed your MVP and are in a better position to calculate your costs accurately. It is important to calculate your costs accurately even before you start your venture. It is absolutely essential to have a clear idea of all your costs based on your expected revenues. You can then decide if your business is likely to be profitable. In order to understand costs, let us go back to the smoothie idea. If you recall, the idea was to sell not just sweet but savory smoothies out of a food truck. What are the costs that you would incur if you were to start such a business? The costs can be broadly divided into startup costs, fixed costs and variable costs. Startup costs or capital costs are costs that an enterprise incurs before starting a business. For the smoothie business, it would include buying the truck, the chairs, the stools to seat customers, the signage and the equipment. All this before the business starts. Fixed costs are the expenses incurred regularly, irrespective of how much you sell or how much you produce. Fixed costs are usually calculated for a month. For the smoothie business, your fixed costs will be fuel, salaries and electricity. Variable costs are costs that depend on the number of units produced and sold. In our example, the variable cost will be raw material consumed such as yogurt, sugar, cups and spoons. To help you do all these financial calculations for your own venture, use the template for basic financial plan. Your facilitator will give it to you. In fact, the smoothie example is being shown in this video using the same template. You might wonder if electricity could be classified as a variable cost since it is depending on the number of units of smoothie produced. However, it is easier to think of costs such as electricity as fixed costs for the purposes of this exercise. For an entrepreneur, it is always better to have variable costs rather than fixed or startup costs. And it is better to have fixed costs rather than startup costs. This is because with uncertainty around business earnings, it is better to have costs which can be avoided when necessary. And how do you do that? If you need to buy a freezer for your business, consider renting a freezer. Or if it is essential, then buy a second-hand freezer. If you need manufacturing equipment, consider leasing it instead of buying it. For example, for the smoothie business, you can lease the truck and rent a freezer. The first step for an entrepreneur is to obviously identify all costs associated with the business. A realistic understanding of the costs of the business is one of the hallmarks of a good business model. To fill out the cost structure block, you need to answer key questions such as What are the major costs of the business? Can some costs be postponed for a later date? Is your business value driven or cost driven? If you have a low value price proposition, then you are cost driven. And if it is value driven, then your focus is on value proposition and building a premium product. Which cost model do you think the smoothie business belongs to? If you have answered value driven, then you are right because it's a premium product differentiated from other types of smoothies.